What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. I have a question for you all before we get into any content today. Are you excited for EAFC 24? Yes or no? Uh, EA are ramping up the uh, promotion of it and I can't lie, I'm, I'm getting to that point of the year where I'm like, I can't wait for this. This is going to be an incredible year. Um, so let me know guys in the comment section if you are excited or not and why if you care uh to share oh 10 coin pack back the re-energizer pack this is very re-energizing to be fair um three rare golds for 10 coins is never a bad thing even if you get yeah even if you get that it's just never a bad thing that's a dub that's a dub what else have we got in store uh, outside of my uh preview pack one day I'll get a banger in a preview pack that day is not today probably won't be tomorrow either, to be fair because preview packs are pretty tough to get things out of what other packs have we got here today nothing new the super elite the super foundations and all of that goods Are you able to afford to complete new sbcs and test out new players if so visit u7 buy to buy your foot 23 coins they are cheap fast and reliable and make sure to use my code nep at checkout for six percent off and so let's check our objectives before the sbs yes foot champs bonus four that's what i like to see i'm gonna do a four hour road to glory this weekend now play three rivals matches for 1250 quality points one foot champs for an 83 double five for an 84 rare Win one for, for for that and win five for that and La Liga four and League one four. That's very nice. For an eight five by ten at the end, it's very nice. I love the foot champs bonus objectives. They should just have this every week. It would make a lot more people play the game. Uh, we have got the FIFA E Nations Cup, which is by what you have to watch the uh, the FIFA stuff, and, th and that's it for that. Right, let's go and have a look at SBCs then. Oh, Bama Yang. We've got a daily login, which I'm very excited about because I think it's a 585 today, isn't it? And that's quite a nice pack. And the 81 Plus, which is also quite a nice pack. The 81 player pick is back as well, guys. Repeatable, as it should be. We have also got... Nothing else actually nothing else so pierre emerick Bamiang, high low work rates six foot two four star five star i i i don't know what i could even guess that he would be flashing back to earn a flashback of Bamiang celebrating his impressive 2016-17 season in the bundesliga all right fair enough uh four segments Well, I'm a bit confused because first of all, an 82 rated with an inform is nice, but 90 rated as the overall. Ooh. A 90 rated for a small red gold players pack, an 89 rated for a prime election players pack, an 87 rated for a small prime gold players pack and a mixed players pack, the 82. He is high, low, five star, four star, six foot two. He can play striker and center forward. He has got finesse shot trait and outside the foot shot trait. I mean, it is a very good card. It is a very good card, right? There's no denying it. But is it a little bit too expensive for the state of the game today? So we do get our fifth completion. We do get our 85 by 5. Why the 82? EA obviously just wanted that extra like 30, 40k value or 20, 30k value put on. T today is definitely a log on, log off day. You log on, you do your daily upgrade, you decide whether or not you want to bamang or not, and then you log off again. Um, we get Joel Matip and Mazraoui out of there. But yeah, but you you could get the level up cards. So if you packed a level up untradeable, and then you go and get the better version of the level up, you you've then got the cards to put into a bamang. Like, what, the one thing I will say, right? Walk out. Come on, then. Um, That's nice. The one thing I will say is, like, it is so easy to get fodder. For example, 
we literally just got an 89 and an 88 and another 89 and two 86s from a free daily pack so it's not it like that's not hard to get fodder you what you basically have to decide is do you want Aubameyang yes or no and if you do just get everything um or, or like look this one gives a 383 plus this one gives you all the xp to get you the season progress which will give you packs if you've already completed that you've got foot champ stuff gives you some like upgrade packs the daily thing gives you upgrade packs um you've got the milestones these don't really give you upgrade packs but it gives you some packs you can go and play for kalanoglu then get the 96 kalanoglu and use them both right so it's not in that sense it's not like it's not so bad i think we just have a warped understanding of um of the squad ratings purely because we're used to like having to like buy the players or whatever but there is there is so many easy ways to get fodder these days just go and play champs rivals etc um i i like this card a lot he has got some good links the level up raheem sterling the season tiago silva Uh, the flash, uh, sorry, the end of an era and Golo Kante. If you can somehow manage to get this Enzo, that's another good link in there as well. But you probably, you know, that might be a bit, a bit of a stretch too far. Uh, James is 17 and a half K. Like, there, there's some really, really good cards. Yeah, best of will be impacts. How long is he there for? Is he there for two weeks? For the eighth? Wow, he's there for nearly a month. Oh, that's all right, man. He's there for like, what, 25 days? Twenty-seven days. That is plenty. Like you will get loads of loads of opportunities to put fodder into him. And with a Hawk Chem style, perfect pace, perfect shooting, other than volleys, very good physical, great dribbling, and nice passing. Um you could give him an engine to boost up that dribbling as well. You could give him a finisher really with that pace that he's already got. A finisher's like quite deadly to be fair. Gives him great shooting, great dribbling, good pace. His physical's already nice. I like the um I like the aggression boost of Hawk though. 99 jumping for a guy at six foot two with 80 aggression as well, and 94 stamina, five star, four star high low work rates. Like I can't even pretend to suggest that this isn't just a good card. Uh, I'd be interested to compare him to Cavani. Because obviously the 96 Cavani that you can get via the 94 Cavani has premium chemistry. The 96 Cavani is also 5-star, 4-star. Has 5 less pace, 1 more dribbling, 2 more shooting, 1 more passing, 2 more physical. Quite similar to be fair. Quite similar. And this Cavani, 96 Cavani, will cost you 64k and a little bit of game time. It's like five games, I think, for Cavani. Whereas a Bamian costs you 357k's worth of fodder. Let me know if you're going to do it down below. I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't think it's badly priced. I, I think it's a very good card for a, a decent price. Like, it's, it's expensive. But the card itself is just, it is genuinely just very good. Um, could even pop a maestro on him. I like the five star, four star. I like the high low work rates. I think it's a very good card. It's a shame he just hasn't got an Arsenal badge this time around because I think one of his best cards ever was an Arsenal card, wasn't it? Yeah, that one right there. Actually, what his best card ever was a Dortmund card. This one right here. This was just the best, literal best ever Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Um, and then after that was this one here. Was this 5-5? Five, five? Yeah, this was 5-star, five 5-star. Five War of cards. Guys, that's going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like rating, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.